school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, moving to the Washington State School for the Blind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Uh, go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you alway, <laughs> even unto the end of the world. Amen. <laughs> now, um, this idea of uh, baptizing in the Holy Ghost, yes. You know, uh, there's water baptism. <laughs> Not really going to talk about that, but I did want to know exactly how the Holy Ghost works in a believer's life. <laughs> Let's say you decided that you would make up all kinds of slander about me, that my wife said I was crazy. <laughs> I thought that, uh, well, she said that I thought everybody had a biochip in them. Poop. That you were all sewn in. Mm -hmm. That you were able to hear or see what people were doing without their knowledge. <laughs> now, it sounds crazy, doesn't it? That... You are whatever B is on you. Oh, and I didn't want to so in. Yeah. I thought that I should uh, keep my sexual nerve endings for myself. Yes. That there was some sort of problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not going to call any of my relatives when I have experienced the prosperity of God. Mm -hmm. See, when I was working at Washington Mutual, mm -hmm, I went from really nothing. Yeah sleeping on the floor mm -hmm. in a little room in the Kingsway camp, yes, on a mat, mm -hmm. to prospering, to being able to give, yes, and then eventually uh, bought a house and was able to support a wife and kids. <laughs> then somebody lied and said that I, I had lost my mind, that I should curse God. Mm -hmm. Well, I waited for years. <laughs> I waited for you to remove your fraud from the court system. Now, when you go from $5,000 a year as a trucker chaplain, yes, to $250,000 a year in three and a half years, you become acclimated to money. See, I have no fear of money. A lot of those in law enforcement, they don't understand how money works. <laughs> There is a fear that you have that the wealth that you get yes, will in some way corrupt you and you'll become greedy and want more than you actually need. <laughs> but when you fast and pray and you have three little boys at home and you begin to see it unravel where Valerie Amburn, Finra decides to audit you, ooch. And you change brokerages from Washington Mutual to uh, Horowitz and Associates. Yeah. And then they want to take your book of business and they do all kinds of different devious things to try to convince you that, mm, why don't you just give us your wealth? And you fight for it. Pooch, and eventually it goes away. And then you lose your house to foreclosure and you have to house it. And poof. then you can't sell any insurance and you... You decide to move to Guam because the military is spending $15 billion on a marine buildup. <laughs> and you live in the Tamuning Plaza, <laughs> where Benjamin was born. Yes. <laughs> then you have to stay in a homeless shelter. And then eventually your wife calls you and you have to go to jail. Pooh, pooh. <laughs> Spend 10 days in a Guamanian jail because of a false report of domestic violence and child abuse. Yes. <laughs> but you're trapped. <laughs> You can't leave the island. You don't have a passport. And you're sitting there uh -huh, watching as Clown County right now issues a protection order where you did not receive any rights as a father. Well, eventually I did the seven hours of parenting classes. I moved back to Clown County. Yeah. My wife decides to file uh, for a disillusion of marriage, and you arrest me at the same moment of serving me. Oh, oh. I wasn't attempting to contact the petitioner. And then for seven years, you decide that you're going to abuse your power and your authority. 
Now, on the 9th of January of this year, I went to court and you said I was incompetent? Mm. Mm -mm. I said, no, I wasn't in Brennan and the 2 million emails that I had been sending were not cyber stalking. I was informing law enforcement that my due process rights are being violated. Yes, that my wife had issued a dissolution of marriage. And I'm wanting to put in prison a large number of individuals that have badges on yes, that are refusing to enforce the laws of the United States. <laughs> now, the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. <clears throat> I'm absolutely sure about my right to take every fucking asset that you have. See, when you spend years stepping into the omniscience of God, mm -hmm, you understand what it means to be full. Of the Holy Spirit. Oh. Now this book of James. Yes. Mm -hmm. I've read it numerous times. It's been a number of years ago. But I think we should look at it. Just for a second. Because when you use forgeries. Mm -hmm. In fact I'll probably talk to you about this today. The judges. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was feeling some love last night. <coughs> Maybe you could get me. Every superior court judge. In the United States of America. Pouch. Because I will take every asset that you have. <laughs> I will imprison every judge of the United States <laughs> that has any knowledge of the fraud of taking children from their parents <laughs> without any due process of law. <laughs> now, this book of James, yes, I had sent 2,320,000 emails documenting the crime, yes, of taking my sons without any due process. And it seemed that you could just pay somebody, you could bribe them to do something lawful. No, I know. <laughs> You're a little upset today at the thought of losing every asset that you have, going to prison for being complicit in child abduction, yes. kidnapping, the sole purpose of issuing the dissolution of marriage, <laughs> and then child trafficking, and then every judge... <laughs>